I'm Ray Twink Watson, and these are my cake dolls of the Kate Midland wedding gown and her party dress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make them so you can enjoy them for yourself and your family. Items that you will need to make these dolls are the doll dress patterns that you can download, Geraldine sugar paste available from Geraldine's Creative Cutters at creativecutters.com, icing sugar, Elmer's school glue, a nonstick rolling pin and a nonstick board, a PME number zero tip and a disposable piping bag, piping gel and titanium dioxide, an offset set spatula, a fan brush and a paint brush, non toxic fairy dust, a non toxic disco hologram silver, two plastic round discs roughly the same size as a DVD, four inch wide netting for the veil, a number 27 gauge wire, two 11 and a half inch dolls, and my pre-cut pattern stencil which is optional for those who do not want to pipe the embroidery. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, first pattern, which is the underskirt pattern, and you're going to take it together and it will go and form the base of your doll. Second thing you will do is you will take her hair and you will, I've used here an 18 gauge wire so everyone can see the actual wire, but you will want to get a very fine wire like a number 27 wire. Uh, just to wrap around the back of her hair because this is the wire that is going to hold her veil in place when we make her veil and her veil comes on. First thing you're going to do is you're going to roll your fondant and I'm using a non-stick rolling pin and a non-stick board. We are going to roll this on it, and we are going to use less than a pound of it for the entire dress. And we are going to roll it to less than an eighth of an inch thick, so that it is very fine and almost translucent in look, giving you a wonderful, wonderful texture and a wonderful, wonderful impression when you take the pattern and press it into the fondant. We have the pattern in a plastic sheet that is a uh, impressionable sheet that you just roll your rolling pin over the top of the fondant and lift it off and voila, you have beautiful impressions made. If you don't have get the plastic impression mat. You can then just take the regular sheet um, that is paper and all you do is pin, take a pin and prick a little holes and again place that on your fondant and go over the top with your rolling pin and again it will leave a wonderful impression. So you take and you cut out your first piece is the side pattern of the front part of the dress. And as you can see, you then can take a finest icing tip that you can find and put it in a disposable plastic bag and it in the bag, we have piping gel that has white titanium dioxide added to it so that we are, can follow then the lines of the piping of the impression that is left. And this just shows you what some of your embroidery will look like. Okay. 
If your piping skills are not good, you can just roll the impression, the, the impression mat with your rolling pin, and you can see that the that the fondant comes through the mat. And then if you just take a little bit of the luster dust, what we're using here is fairy dust, you just go across this over the mat. When we lift the impression mat off, you will see there is wonderful impressions and luster glitter. Okay, our first panel, which is our side panel, which is going to be going on this side of the dress, goes from the center and the side seam of the dress, and it starts exactly in the middle of that section. So you can see it's right here. This is midway between those two, and that's where this section will start. You're going to take your your dress fabric, you're going to place this has the embroidery on it. You're going to take your pattern up for your dress and you're going to flip it over onto your pattern. And you're going to take now the underside and you're going to just gently take it and roll the edge over. Just the front edge. Okay. You'll find that if you pick up the pattern with the fabric of sugar paste, it is easier to get it onto your doll without it tearing. You're then just going to place it on the position where you want it and gently turn it over. You'll see that the bottom starts to have a nice flare and ruffle starting to happen from the bottom coming up which is exactly what you want to have happening with your doll. And then you will take and do the same thing on the other side. The embroidery you put on, once you have the uh, actual uh, fabric of sugar paste on your doll, and you do your embroidery before you put it on your next section, you do it section by section, we have just impressions mapped the um, fondant. We have now put the front panel dress on and tuck it out. We are now lifting it up, flipping it over. What we are doing now is just rolling over the edges. Now then I'm going to pick up this front panel and we're going to set it on the dress. And it will come up. And this is where your inverted pleating comes in. If you find that your um, sugar paste isn't adhering as well as you would like. Just take a damp um, water water with uh, in, in a brush. Brush your sugar paste and lay it on your doll and you pour it here. Okay. I'm just going to lift these. And if you'd like to get a little bit more lift and fold in 
your fabric. Just take a long brush, stretch your fabric, and it will fold. Want your front piece fairly flat. Showing off your embroidery. But you want a little bit of ripple in the bottom, just so that it shows off nicely. Okay. You can see that this is just the shimmer embroidery, and that is done without any piping. And if I come along now and pipe the embroidery, I'm using a number zero tip. You can use the smallest tip you can find. All of these tools are available, of course, at Creative Cutters, Geraldine's Creative Cutters, and she ships any worldwide. In the United States in Buffalo and Richmond Hill in Canada. We just recut the um, back part of the dress and folded it over. We've now piece, taken a piece of just um, of the pattern. We're lifting it now up to put it on the back side here of the gown. Taking it up and attaching it up here under her arm. So the gown goes down beneath the bottom. Like so. Again, if you're Paste is dried out a little bit. Take a little bit of moist water and just bring it up. So like this, if it start to dry, just take it and put it on the door. I'm going to join the two. Gentle overlapping, a bit of moisture, and let the two join. And there you have your sculpted train.